Our beliefs strongly influence our results. Oftentimes we succeed when we believe we will succeed, and we fail when we think we will fail. In other words, our mind influences our learning ability. So to learn faster and better, we must master our mind. Specifically, we must master our beliefs and our ideas. As a successful adult, you are highly intelligent. Yet you probably have a lot of negative beliefs about your English learning ability. Including, for example, you might say, English speaking is difficult. You can say, I am not good at English. Or, I am nervous when I speak English. Or, I must speak English perfectly every time. Or, you can say that I can't make mistakes. Or, you can say that there is only one right answer. Or, you can say that I must memorize and follow all the grammar rules while speaking English. Or, you can say that people from my country cannot speak English well. Or, it's impossible to speak English easily and quickly. You know, where did, did these beliefs come from? For most people, these beliefs were like created in, in school, probably, you know. Very few children believes, you know, uh, believe these things. I remember that when I taught small children, it was very easy because they were, uh, they were fearless, kind of, you know. They believed that English was uh, fun. And I always encouraged them to, to, to believe that idea. The children in my class gradually learned to speak with nearly perfect grammar, yet they never studied grammar rules. Unfortunately, in, in middle school, in high school, in university, you know, most students learn like a new negative beliefs. The teachers force the students to memorize grammar rules and take tests. You know, students learn to believe that there is only one right answer for, for every question. They learn, you know, to fear mistakes. And in school, look at the students, you know, they are embarrassed to make mistakes and thus they fear speaking. By the time they are adults, most English speakers have many negative beliefs about speaking English. And these beliefs destroy their confidence. These beliefs, therefore, destroy their motivation. Most adult English learners, you know, they feel stressed and nervous. So to speak English easily, you must destroy your negative beliefs first. You know, tell yourself every single day that these beliefs are wrong and these beliefs are uh, bullshit, let's say. And finally, there is a one simple belief that you can choose and uh, that will totally maybe change your English learning. So that is a belief, uh, I call it, can I? So like a C A N and I. So it's a like constant and never ending improvement. You know, Japanese call this Kaizen. The belief of can I means that you will speak English very easily by focusing on small improvements every single day. That's right, you know, small improvements, you know. With can I, your goal is to make a very tiny improvement each day. For example, maybe you will learn uh, just one new phrase or one sentence each, each day. Maybe you will listen to, you know, like different listenings, you know, each day. And uh, the point is that you focus on, on, on making just a tiny improvement but you must do it every single day. And this simple belief is powerful because it, it creates motivation. You know, you, you feel more relaxed because it's easy to make tiny improvements. However, these tiny improvements, they just add up. You know, when you focus on can I, so you improve slowly at first, but your energy quickly grows. And soon you are learning very fast. So can I is like constant and never ending improvement. It feels easy and effortless. There's no stress. Each day your English, you know, speaking grows, you know, you, and in, in just six months maybe you are speaking English easily and quickly. And it seems to happen by magic and automatically. So this is the, the, the power of can I. So that's it. I think that these are the, the keys to mastering the mind in speaking fluent and perfect English. See you next time. Bye.